Good morning, Gracians. I'm Pastor Alvin. How have you been? Well, for me, it has been great to finally have meals with my parents, siblings, and friends after three months of circuit breaker. We hope that you have been blessed by our past Grace Every Morning Daily Devotional based on the book of Matthew. We're now going to the book of Exodus, continuing from the book of Genesis. We are at Exodus chapter 1 today. Please read it first to allow God to speak to you. I've entitled my devotional, Fear God, Not Man. The book of Exodus is a continuation of the book of Genesis and records how God delivered Israel out of Egyptian slavery to become a chosen nation under God. In chapter 1, the new king of Egypt did not know about the contributions of Joseph and began to force the Israelites into harsh slavery and even tried to kill their male infants because he was afraid of the growing number of Israelites. The key verse for us today is verse 17. Let me share. Verse 17 says, And because the midwives feared God, they refused to obey Pharaoh. They allowed the boys to live too. So we see that the Hebrew midwives were commanded by Pharaoh to kill any male infants as they were delivering them. But these midwives disobeyed Pharaoh because they feared God more than men. In verse 21, we see that God rewarded these midwives by blessing their family life. Have you been in a position where you are pressured? to do the wrong things by people around you, especially by people who are in authority over you. Well, for me, some years back, I went overseas to organize a Christian event. I was stopped at the customs because I had a laminating machine with me. The customs officer said that I had to pay a tax on it. Even though it was a used machine for my own personal use, I was not intending to sell it. But actually, he wanted a bribe from me. When I insisted that I was not doing anything wrong, he brought me into the customs office where a higher-ranking officer took over. This officer took out a very thick customs book but failed to show me where I had committed an offence. He threatened me that I would be brought to his supervisor if I still refused to pay the fine. I told him to issue me an official fine. But after about 20 minutes of waiting for me to bribe him, which I refused, he finally let me go without any fine. I thank God for the deliverance, but it was quite a scary event. Have you been pressured to do something unethical or immoral? Remember, fear God and not man, because God sees and God rewards. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to fear you rather than men. Help us to do the right thing even when we are pressured to sin against you. We give thanks that you are God who holds justice in your hands and you reward those who walk uprightly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, the application and reflection questions are posted at the end of the video for your easy reference. God bless you and see you soon.